now let's start our discussion with this diagram in the first part in this diagram you can see that here a direct semiconductor is shown that is the ek diagram this is known as the ek diagram as because in the y axis i have plotted the energy and in the x axis i have plotted the momentum that is k as well as in this part of the figure i have shown you an indirect band gap semiconductor example of an indirect semiconductor is silicon as well as for the direct band gap semiconductor the example is gallium arsenide now let's jump into this figure why it has been shown here as you can see from this figure the minimum of the conduction band for the gallium arsenide and the maximum of the valence band for the same material requires the same value of k that is the for both of the cases the value of k equals to zero on the other hand for silicon the minimum of the conduction band and the maximum of the valence band lies in two different values of k thus an electron making a transition from the conduction band to the valence band for the gallium arsenide material requires no change in the value of the k but for silicon structure an electron transits from the conduction band to the valence band it may undergo a change in the value of k so there are two types of semiconductors direct and indirect band gap semiconductors so in a direct band gap semiconductor when an electron jumps from the conduction band to the valence band it gives up the energy which is equal to its band gap energy and we get a photon which has the energy value equals to the band gap energy and that is the relation h nu equals to eg on the other hand an electron in the conduction band minimum of an indirect band gap semiconductor such as silicon it must undergo or it cannot jump to the maximum value of the valence band without undergoing a change in the momentum value for example it may go through some defect states within the band structure that is shown here it is the defect state et so in indirect transition which requires a change in the value of k the energy which is actually given up as a form of heat in the lattice structure but rather not as a photon and this is the difference which is actually important for deciding which material can be taken as the light emitters as a light emitting diode or a laser and thus for this particular reason we actually taken gallium arsenide as the light emitting diodes or the light emitting lasers but not the indirect band gap semiconductors such as a silicon now let's move on to discuss what are electrons and holes in this video